Hello and welcome back to Kazuka. How are you? You're I'm famished apparently. I'm I'm famished. Gotta eat some food. Gonna eat some food. I, I guess I still need to make our meal. Oh, we have a drop of nectar. Let's try and make our meal first. Um it's gonna be freeze dried horse rooms and star apple jam. Uh none of those. Can we make another meal? Yeah, we can. Um, choose ingredients. Drop of nectar. This is it. After this? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with drop of nectar. Cursed run. Cursed, cursed uh, drop of nectar. It's just not working out. Um, I, I think I've done it at least nine times. It, you know what? Count along. Go back. Go back. Rewatch the show. Get, get, let, get, you know, help my analytics. <laughs> help my analytics. And, um, you know, I just realized I don't actually know which lanes I am, uh, I'm gonna have to wait till the night time so I know which lanes I'm on. Yeah, go ahead and, and go, go count. Tell me, tell me which ones I, uh, how many, how many drops of nectars have I, have I, uh, gone through? Too many. Too many. I, I, I'm done with that. Okay, so we haven't done this. This is another another glow crow, a legendary glow crow. Um, hated, uh, loved by birds, hated by equins, disliked by water barons, admired by beetles. Sure, our bird reputation is insane. Our beetle reputation is pretty good. Um, tell me some secrets. Can't grant you more reputation. Uh, share a secret with me. Share a secret with me. More uh, gossip. May as well trade in bird rep for the for the gossip, the hot goss. And then we'll wait for daytime because I think I'm on the right lanes now. All right. It's been uh, it's been kind of slow going. I think after. Like we're, we're I, I keep saying it, but we're, we're getting pretty close to being done with the, um, the salt dunes. And then after the salt dunes, I think what I want to do is, um, check out any layers that I might have discovered. We have another ruin. Yeah, we'll check out some, uh, some layers if I, if I know of any more, uh, that I haven't been to. And um, after that, we might we might do ruin diving, or I might do Bethesda Sousa. I think we have the means of doing Bethesda Sousa. I don't think that we will. I've clearly have done that tile, and clearly have done this tile. Right? Yeah, you're water bonded. Okay, so I'm on the wrong tiles. I hate when I do this. So am I on this one and the next one? Yeah, so I, I might just do Bethesda Sousa. We're like, we're pretty due. Like it's, it shouldn't be that bad. It'll be pretty bad. I don't know. I, I Bethesda Sousa is always a mixed bag. And of course it's almost nighttime. Okay, um, this is turning into kind of a pain in the butt if I am being so honest What the oh, I there's a dread tuber that spooked me Okay, I'm, I'm sticking to these lanes regardless of what happens And I'm just gonna be famished. I don't care I'm so Honestly frustrated is we've we've water bonded with this one haven't we Yeah So i'm on this lane as well or i've done this lane as well Uh Okay, what is going on Now I have to eat a meal to travel These lanes look 
kind of done, I guess. I don't know. It might just be I, I accidentally switched over, so I'm going to go ahead and just do them anyway. Sand dunes can get confusing because you get distracted and uh, there's no real like good reliable way of doing them. I, I have this method, which is good for like getting through the empty spots. But as soon as I find anything, then it can really mess me up. What I should do in the future is just like, oh, do we have we uh, made friends with this canoe? You are water bonded with them. I should mark the area by like putting down a dagger or something on the side that I came in on. And that way I'll, I'll always know. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, highlight mode? Oh, I noted a oil weep. I guess I saw an oil weep, but I, I think I have enough oil. I don't need any more. Ah, uh, slimes. They, they're the only thing stopping me from basically like free exploring the entire salt dune. Um, I'm assuming we have done this bear. You are water bonded with him. What is going on? How did I get so horribly sidetracked? And how is it that there was like clearly unexplored tiles at the very top? Someone's gonna like sleuth out how I got so horribly like sidetracked. Tortoises. Bunch of nonsense. Isakari fighting dawn gliders. Glow pads. I mean, at least I'm making good time. Record time through the uh, salt dunes. There might be good stuff on these screens, but it means like auto exploring each one. That's why I'm not a huge fan of the marsh for like making our early game progress. Because it's honestly, like, it, it is objectively worse than the Salt Dunes. Um, not just because the rewards are objectively worse, but also because um, there's a lot of obstacles in your way blocking you from, like, seeing things. So, like, it's just it's just a lot more time consuming. It's it's it sucks. There's nothing good about um, like, okay, there is one good thing about exploring the salt, the, the marshes. It was, um, you can find some mechanical wings. You are guaranteed some mechanical wings, and there is a water merchant somewhere. But outside of those two things, it's like, eh. May as well just do the salt. Oh, legendary dragonfly. That's kind of, kind of nice. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, actually, it would be kind of nice to make friends with a dragonfly. I wouldn't mind getting insect rep. So I'm actually going to cook from a recipe and we're going to cook our Nim Nima Shram's freeze dried love shawarma. So that we can potentially beguile and make friends with a legendary dragonfly. Uh, they shouldn't, they should actually be cool. Like I think dragonflies are actually like docile they're they don't they're not hostile which rhymes and that's how you know it's true doop 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 roaming around and stealing all your trade goods roaming around and there's a null worm dead roaming around oh there's two salt hoppers they are no more. This is my my little song. I hope you I hope you like it. It's mostly a uh, a memoir. Uh, weird artifact. So we got ourselves a grenade fungicide. 
and some dried vanta petals and an acid gas grenade sure all of that is uh, acceptable Doop -doop 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 There's our legendary dragonfly. Loved by grazing hedonists and insects. Hated by oozes! Hated by the villagers of Kakuka and dogs. Wow, we are going to be... Well, we're going to be gaining quite a lot of reputation for this, but we are sacrificing our insect rep sucks. Worth it. Not even a question. I like insect rep. I like it a lot. Um, our ooze rep needs a lot of work. It's gonna need a lot of work. So let's just double check this. Hated by yeah, villain. The, honestly, it would have been kind of a deal breaker if I had lost reputation with Kyakuka, but we just made enemies to a lot of people. Grazing hedonists. That kind of sucks. I won't lie. We're now despised. Oozes are indifferent to me. Uh, that isn't going to make me friendly with, like, humors, because I think humors are... Well, I, I really ate crow on this one, didn't I? Like, 100% I was proven wrong by Caves of Cud within, like, mid-sentence almost, because I was talking about how marshes aren't really worth exploring, and I found the one layer. The one layer that gave me possibly one of the most valuable reputations. So like, you know, <laughs> that's Caves of Cud for you, honestly. Caves of Cud has a very mean-spirited sense of humor, I think. It loves to t uh, prove you wrong. It loves to uh, humble you. Um, you know, it, 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 it it's, it's mean sometimes, but that's fine. Sometimes, uh, you know, we need a little bit of cruelty in our lives. Not too much. And honestly, we could all do with a little less these days, but... Loved by Mechanimus, hated by villagers, Kith of the Mirror Broker, Swine. How's our village with the Kark Rep? Rep. Deep, 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 deep. Kark Rep. Where is Kark Rep? There's Karkalep, negative 100. We've definitely decided that some of the villages are more important than others. Um, Kith as a mirror broker, I know that that's like, who cares? Swine, we're never gonna be on good terms with swine. The village, we could still, uh, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can still go there. So, I think we can just have them join us and then, uh, give me all your stuff, please. So, I, I said it, I, I said we're not doing uh, Nectar's Tonic anymore. I meant it. I meant it. I, I'm not doing it anymore. I, 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 di I, I did it, like, eight times, um... So, we're officially going to start taking Eater's Nectar Injectors. One point of toughness, I'll take it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I would love to, you know, double down, die on a hill, double down on a bad idea. But it's just, like, not worth it when I've, I've literally wasted, like so many eaters nectar tonics just to for the hope of plus one to all okay we have a eater statue and there's our becoming nook and we've got a grounding shunts one of my favorite uh cybernetics that's uh, i'm being ironic they're i think one of the worst um cybernetics in the game i could be wrong maybe there's a really really good reason why you should use them but i don't know it and of course if i don't know it then they don't exist right again i'm being ironic i got you know bazinga <laughs> oh that's really gonna piss someone off <laughs> uh 
how one word can really ruin a person's day. Hey, all I'm saying, and I mean, uh, I might tank my, my, my very modest reputation here as a YouTuber. It's like by trolls. Hmm. Oh, I'm already water bonded with him. Um, Young Sheldon was actually a good show. I say was because apparently it's ending at season six or seven. And uh, even the idea, the fact that it exists for that many seasons just like makes some people really mad. Just don't watch it. <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> or, you know, like, try it. I don't know. People get really weird. Like, I, I would say, e honestly, even if you hated Big Bang Theory, which uh, my metrics show that you probably did, um, try it anyway. I'm not kidding. It's, you know, like, I understand the problems with Big Bang Theory. I, believe me, I know. I, I, am, I am definitely um, part of the, uh, the Venn diagram circle that, like, Big Bang Theory basically openly mocked um to a degree and you know i actually appreciate that they did in some ways that's gonna piss people off that, now we're getting spicy i don't care i could get into why I, I would say that but um even if you hated big bang theory even if you think that uh sheldon is like the most annoying character of all time um which you know what fair uh i honestly wouldn't even argue against any of that i'd still say watch young sheldon i'm not kidding like i'm not kidding i, I like this isn't a ploy to get you to watch something awful it's it's a uh, genuinely a uh, pretty wholesome show and i say wholesome very with with the preface that i hate that word i actually really hate the word wholesome i know that's a weird one but like how can you hate a word i actually hate wholesome more than i hate bazinga now we're now where, where are we that and like cozy because these are like such subjective words and they're used so often and i'm like you know there's they're just so kind of buzzwordy and i just i i hate being like marketed to but it is a wholesome show in that um, it's a show filled to the brim with actually likable characters. Um, if you don't like Sheldon, please know that he's basically like one tenth of that show. And then the rest of it is uh, his family. And they're all fairly major characters and none of them are really taken for granted. They all have some kind of uh, contribution to make. Um, a meaningful con you know contribution in the sense that they have wants and needs and uh arcs and they develop and they you know aren't like offshoot side characters that get like two lines of dialogue and then it's all about sheldon what do you mean hated by oozes oh no i'm losing ape rep and barathermite rep to do this but we're doing it sorry bud Anyway, I bet you didn't expect uh, a recommendation for young Sheldon um, in your Caves of Cud playthrough. And I understand that for a lot of people, it's going to go fall on deaf ears. That's fine. I don't care. I don't I really don't expect to um, convince most people. Let's just, yeah, let's just fight them. Apes are now indifferent to me. Brathermites are less impressed with me. Oozes increased by 1825. Antelopes are, you know, they're they're actually. So we got our, we got some crocuses. I've uh, I've talked about this on stream, and I know that um, again, this is gonna fall on deaf ears. But I I honestly I don't buy into like mob mentality when it comes to a show a show is being like dunked on and hated you know like i, I don't buy into it in fact like i not to be a contrarian but it makes me more likely to want to try the show because it's like 
you know, is it is it really that bad? I, I've seen some awful, awful garbage, and I've also seen some shows heralded. Heralded? Sorry, excuse me, heralded. Uh, as being like works of genius, and I'm like, eh, it's fine. Loved by arachnids and the Gersh. Is this the guy that wants a cloning draught? Um, I think it is. I haven't marked this place. So let's mark it. Um, friend, uh, spider, le legend. Spider, friend, cloning, draught. Draft, sorry, excuse me. Anyway. Um, yeah, it, it just like, it, it doesn't really impress me when, uh, people dogpile a show. Unless it's like genuinely harmful, you know, like, I feel like two and a half men did like tangible damage <laughs> to, <laughs> to society <laughs> as a whole. Um, hated by frogs. Eh, I'm never going to get that stupid achievement. Unshelled reptile rep is increased. There you go. Yeah, that's the problem with these guys is they... We can get bird rep. We can't really get more unshelled reptile rep. I think that... Uh, I think that two and a half men has done, like, tangible damage. Um, like, I really don't res have any respect for uh, any kind of media that serves as an echo chamber for people to ap act like dipshits. And I know that's probably the most, like, spicy thing I've said on here, but, like, I feel really strongly about that. It's like, you know, when you have people who are, are being given permission to, like, basically be dregs of humanity, I, I, I'm, like, not a fan of that. I don't know if there's any, any fans of Two and a Half Men in my uh, comments, but, like, uh, you know, sorry, you know. Again, enjoy what you're gonna enjoy. Ooh, we got a legendary tortoise here. Disliked by daughters of exile, hated by the consortium of Fida. Well, you have to die. Oh, uh, I think I accidentally hit the dawn glider. I gotta kill the dawn glider now. Daughters of Exile are we're, uh, we're getting there, you know? I'm trying to think of uh, what shows... Oh, you know, um, a really good example. I, I, I will say... I'll, I'm gonna, like, I, I don't want to... I want you to gauge your reaction by what, what I'm about to say. Um, there was a split second where people were really annoyed with the Scott Pilgrim anime that just came out. I say anime, but okay, whatever, Netflix series. Um, and uh, I thought that was really funny. Because, like, imagine being annoyed that instead of having a one-to-one -one adaptation of, you know a book that you already have a pretty decent adaptation of instead you get basically a well you know continuation in some form not to spoil anything but um i, I just think that you know people get i, I don't know I'm just, i really don't have a lot of respect for fans i think is what it boils down to like fan in the in the sense like it cuts both ways people who consider themselves fans that just like use that as a bludgeon to hate weirdly hate on the thing that they're they're a fan of is always weird to me you're allowed to not like something here's here's my hot take um here's here's like my an example of me doing the same thing and then I'll, I'll tell you like maybe this gives you a, an idea of how I wish people would like kind of like gauge their emotions in a way I think that the um Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind movie adaptation 
is not very good. And I'll explain my thoughts here. Um, I think it's a good movie. I don't think it's a good adaptation. Because basically it... Um, it basically spoils the storyline. Uh, it, it takes certain themes that are very fleshed out in the comic and taken to a very like extreme and satisfying end and it kind of ruins them so like there there can never be there could never be a follow-up movie i don't expect that miyazaki would ever do a follow-up movie because like w one person can only be you know there's only so much life to uh dedicate to one project and he already did like a, a seven volume or like 12 volume I, I can't remember i think it's seven volume uh manga and then he did a movie adaptation and it's like that's enough right that's enough time for anyone to dedicate to uh any series right but i do think it was a shame that um certain themes are used in the movie that don't really contribute much to the story like they don't really i don't think that they really do much to like double down on a on a certain theme like if you if you consider what the themes are in Nausicaa um I just like I think it it touches on the idea of like you know preserving life the idea of coexisting with nature uh really well and I think that um there are like other certain subplots that didn't need to be adapted and because they are adapted in the movie they it be, basically means they can't be they can now not be uh taken to their actual end i'm being very vague mostly because i don't want to spoil things and i know it's like a what 30 or 40 movie year old movie now but like go and watch it is really all i mean but that being said i'll watch that movie probably once a year because it is a fantastic movie and like even if i don't agree with like the adaptation side of it as as a form of drama as a uh something to look at as a thing to enjoy i, I think that it's still incredible right so like i think wow when did we get a low quality replacement head i think that um like people get really they, they lose sight of like how something can be enjoyed because it was like well it wasn't exactly what i wanted it wasn't the adaptation that i was hoping for or it wasn't it didn't like do what i expected my expectations were not met and therefore it's a bad movie to which you know hated by the children of mamon why i have to uh, our reputation with antelopes isn't great right it's okay i think we can afford to um you know kill this lad i don't i never explain myself well i'm not a good debater and i'm not really looking for a debate i'm looking for um i guess to spread like more empathy because empathy in the sense that like i think that uh you know you cannot like a thing and not be kind of a jerk about it And I mean, like, you know, as many people have probably said, opinions are kind of like assholes. Everyone's got one, but you don't need to share it. But I am playing uh, Caves of Cud for uh, like six to eight hours. Um, for a series, uh, I got to find something to talk about. Or I don't. I could have done a highlight reel, but sometimes it's just more fun to explore a tangent. Anyway, I, I always tell people, like, you know, if you see people are, like, really shitting on a thing, um, hesitate, you know, like, slow your roll. It, it, it might really just be mom mentality. I find, like, I find it really strange that all of the Sony superhero movies are, like, before they're even out, they're like, yeah, this movie is garbage. Like, I'm, we're seeing trailers for this, what, web of something something i don't know web of shadows i don't know you know sony's uh 
it's everyone in the kitchen sink, but it's not Spider-Man movie. And also, apparently, uh, the villain is, like, related to Morbius. I don't care. And I'm not going to defend this movie. Like, you know, uh, enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy hating on it. It's fine. But also, I really, I really find it hard to believe that it's going to be as bad as people want it to be. You know? Like, I'm over, I'm over the superhero thing. I, I think I'm allowed to say that without being a hypocrite, by the way. I, I don't think that the, like, me saying I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, like, I don't watch any more superhero movies is the same as, uh, what I'm saying, like, people shit on things that they don't like. What? Wow, this guy is hated by a lot of people. We're gonna go and end them. Um, I think that's you know fair uh it, we've been in superhero land for uh what how many like more than a decade now maybe a decade it's felt like more than a decade i can't remember when i saw iron man i tell i, I tell people like i, I kind of gave up at civil war so I haven't even seen like Infinity War and I know that one was actually pretty good uh, and like by actually pretty good I mean like you know even if you skipped like the last 20 movies uh, it's actually worth watching that one even for closure on certain themes and stuff and I'm still like eh I'm good I'm just tired <laughs> like uh I've seen my la I I've seen enough uh, action figures slamming into each other. Admired by Snapjaws, loved by tortoises, hated by villagers of Shemish. Yeah, we'll, we'll kill this lad. I need some more chem cells, but uh, no, I, I what I need are, is some more power because I'm I'm actually kind of running out. Oh, but this uh this gun is jacked, right? So how? How is it that I'm running low on the chem cell? I guess it's like if I use up my electrical generation. I guess the only reason I've been able to use it as much as I have is because uh, I, I have electrical generation and it's jacked. Yeah, if I wait a couple turns, then uh, I can use it again. That's good to know, actually. go anyway don't let my opinions on things ruin your day they're already you know if it's any consolation generally speaking most of my opinions ruin my day on a daily basis because you know like i i think that you know i i don't want to have contrarian thoughts and i think that there's something to be said about like it's it's harder to like you know relate to people if you you know don't have the accepted opinions i don't i'm trying really hard not to just say like i you know a contrarian thoughts but like i i don't know i don't like um i don't like being pushed around you know like and that's what mob mentality feels like to me it's like you must hate this thing and i'm like ah plenty of things i do hate i don't know if i need to add this one to my catalog feel like i am uh, again switched on a lane that i have already explored nope no this one's this one's unexplored oh we'll cook a meal i guess i didn't need that one love meal that i made god what what movies are coming up that I actually want to see? I, I do want to see the uh, Chicken Run movie. Uh, Ardman has been such a mixed bag for me lately. I say lately. I mean, they, I know they do a movie like once, a, you know, every five years because they're still working with like actual clay. And I'm like, whoa. You know, I, I got I to gotta respect the dedication to uh, to a medium, you know? Apparently they, they are like running out of clay 
and like uh your brother mate yeah i'll have you join me they're running out of clay and the people that like make the clay that they need have like gone they're like shuttering their business and uh it's like oh shit like that could be it for Ardman. which is weird to me like can't you get the recipe like if they're shuttering if, if it's that specific clay that you need can you not just like get the get their recipe and start making it yourself what a weird tangent i've landed on um what happened to all of our scrap uh, i guess i already disassembled it might disassemble that gaslight flissa Anyway, um, let's disassemble some of these. I'm looking forward to the Chicken Run movie, despite the fact that I, I don't honestly have a lot of faith that it'll be good. I'm, I'm, it's, it's going to be one of those things where I just like insist on enjoying it. I don't know if you have any of those things in, in life. Like, you know, uh, The Matrix 4 was a good example of that, actually is uh i was i was just like i'm gonna go watch this and i refuse to dislike it i don't care i don't care like i, I already like live with the weight of uh you know a matrix two and three are are like universally hated um which is fine you don't have to like them i understand the problems with them but like at the same time as like i enjoyed them i i think that they're fun um you know, I, I, I look at um, I look at the Matrix like I do like a, a, a good shonen anime, you know, like that's kind of what it is. It's like the futuristic dystopian version of a shonen anime. It's just a, the ultimate form of good versus evil. Um, and like you can enjoy it on a some kind of metaphorical stand, you know, standpoint. And I think you can enjoy it from a literal standpoint because it's just a fun kind of spectacle. Which is apparently, you know, like, why, the, you know, like, that's, we're, we're in, you know, year 12 of Marvel movies, and I think that it's fair to say that there's some truth to that as well. Um, so, like, you know, everyone's got their, their, uh, the thing that they enjoy. But yeah, I, I, what I, all I'm saying is that, like, I refused to dislike the Matrix movie. I was, I went, I went and saw it fully intended to like it and i did did i love it no <laughs> um did i think it was kind of you know strange and campy at times yes i definitely did um but i still think it's fun and i'll watch it again and uh you know it was kind of like i remember um I'm not, I'm not going to remember her name, the, the writer. So I'm, I'm horrible with names talking about how it was just kind of nice to come back to those characters, you know, like it was a form of catharsis. Um, and that's kind of how it felt watching that movie. It's like, I don't even care. Like, it, it doesn't even matter that it's, you know, this isn't what I would have liked to have seen. It's not the follow up I would have done. It's not the one I would have expected, but you know, it's, it's just, it's just nice to see these characters again um because i like them you know i like those characters i would have liked to have seen uh uh yeah i'm gonna forget his name as well never mind flaming tar pits we might have something worth collecting here uh morpheus whatever i, I can't remember the name of the actor who played original Morpheus. It would have been nice to see them, but you know, can't have it all. Don't know why he wasn't invited. Oh, this sucks. Ganglionic teleprojector is apparently not a good find anymore. I didn't know this, but someone uh, let me know in the comments that the trembling dunes have been taken out of Caves of Good. What a bummer. What a bummer, dude. What a bummer, dude. Oh God. There's a, I, I'm pretty sure I called it too. I have a funny feeling. God, I hope, I really kind of hope I don't have an actual impact on this game. <laughs> that, what a terrible thing. I, I, I refuse to believe that that change was made 
in any way because of what I've said or done in previous series, but what a terrifying thought, right? Because I definitely did at one point say, there's no way that these are gonna, this is gonna stay the way it is, right? A hundred percent, the Trembling Dunes are one day gonna be a thing of the past. They said they, they apparently, I, I, I don't know, I haven't seen the, the, the devs comment on this, but um, the comment I saw in my, uh, in my comments, sorry to be uh, redundant like that, but um, saying that, yeah, they're, they're gonna bring it back. They're gonna bring the Trembling Dunes back, but who knows when that could be and it might not, you know, they, they just might not come back. Like, you know, that's it. Um, that's it for Trembling Dunes. What a bummer and what an end to an era. You know, at least I got to make, uh, I actually got to use that like i never got to do the can't have it all exploit and i'm still bummed about that you know some days but i did get my fill of uh getting chromed at the trembling dunes so i'm cool i'm cool okay uh we have to drop some things it's official um Drop this Y, this Trilby. It's probably a Fedora, let's be honest. Uh, filthy beaten hat was drawn low over countless wearers' eyes. Um, I think if its brim is wide enough to actually provide shade, it could potentially be a Fedora, but I don't know. It's not like Trilbies don't have a brim. Structural scanning bracelet. Uh, so yeah, we did get a gyrocopter. That'll be good for collecting lava in the future. We have some food. What is taking up so much room here? Star apples. Uh, yuckweed stem. That's, that's it. There's our, there's our weight right there. Go ahead and turn all of that into uh, ingredients. Cut another structural scanning bracelet. I'll go ahead and disassemble that. Weird artifact. Grappling gun. Is this like our second or third grappling gun? I should try this. I'll grab it. I don't know how it is. Hey, this is a... Uh, is this Caves of Cud proving me wrong again? That the marshes are actually very valuable? That, uh, that fish just like 100% swam through asphalt. To, to try and kill me uh, more bounding boots I'm gonna pass on those I have enough bounding boots salt marsh and tar pools uh, as soon as I get to the bottom of the world which is very soon I will end the episode and hopefully I haven't alienated uh, you know you and everyone else with my weird takes Yeah, chicken run. I, I can't believe, you know, we're not, it's not like I'm still on that, but I, I have like the last couple of Aardman movies I've seen, I was not super impressed by, mostly because they were intended for really, you know, a, a really young audience. I, I don't know, I'll, I'll watch a kid's movie. I, I have strong affection for Aardman. I was a huge fan of Wallace and Gromit growing up and uh, I really liked Chicken Run. I I think that Chicken Run is one of their their best movies, one of their best productions. Like, what are we? Oh, we're, we're fighting a glow pad. So you know, I'm interested to see yeah, what they do with it. I I'm I actually don't know. I haven't checked if like Mel Gibson is playing in it because that's kind of I don't know how often he actually acts in anything anymore. Anyway, uh, I'm at the bottom of the world. I'm going to go ahead and set ourselves up to climb back up it again. And uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.